What up, what up? Let's check on the machines real quick. Not trying to be too loud while making this video, but my choices are kind of limited unless I want to wait till the end of the day after I've worked all day. But I got the audio control 1500.1 on the bench, ready to go. And uh, as long as none of this stuff is messing up, we'll go do a little live test right in front of you. So, what's going on you guys? What up, what up? What up Solomon? What up New York? What up Byron? All right, so we got this up on the bench. And uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do an amp test right now and live is because I need to take this amp off the bench to put something else here. And I figured while it's here, we might as well torture it a little bit. We'll do a certified, an uncertified, and a dynamic RMS. And we'll just prove to you guys if it's good or not. I haven't ran it yet, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm audio control, you can never really go wrong with audio control. So hopefully it'll do fine. So got here is the uh, audio control LC1, 1500. We got some two watt cable. I don't think you need two watt, but it'll it'll handle one watt. I've got the ends on it, so fits in there good. We got eight gauge speaker wire going down here to the 81. Now we'll turn that on real quick. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of remote right here. This is my little remote wire for now. It just needs to see positive, so we'll stick it right on here. Boom, now we're going to light it up. Good to go. Remember, this is a test bench. Not a car, so it doesn't have to be pretty. Going to do uh, certified mono next. All right, we're going to do two ohms because this is a two ohm amplifier. I might, when this is all done, drop it down a little lower just for fun. But the ratings, the ratings are two ohms, so hopefully it does at least fifteen hundred watts at two ohms. So, if you guys have seen my other videos, you know that this deck, it starts clipping at around 48, 49. So, I think we're ready to go. I think so. So, hold on one second. Hey, Caleb. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, my cameraman walked away. Why'd you walk away? Are you working? Yeah, we're busy over here. In case you guys haven't noticed, this shop is like tremendously busy. I have no business doing this video right now. That's why I'm doing it live real quick. Have a little bit of fun with it. But um, yeah, those machines running nonstop. We got a 1800 piece order from Sky High. Crazy talk, but we love it. Thanks for keeping us busy. All you guys that order our stuff. So hold on a second, here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do, I guess, I mean, really, I'm just gonna unpause it. You can aim that right there at the screen. There you go, get right down in there. And uh, here we go, I'm gonna unpause it right now. And this is certified. It's a 1500 watt amp, give me 15, there we go. 1684. Audio control. All right, now we're gonna back that off real quick. We're gonna exit. We're gonna do uncertified. Now certified, in case you guys don't know about these tests, the test stops at 1% distortion, okay? So uncertified, hey, what up, Bad Influence TV? Thank you for the five bucks, man. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, uncertified means the test stops at clipping. So it's a legit test all on its own as well. Certified is a little tougher. But clipping is also acceptable as well. So um, that's what we're gonna do. Uncertified. Next, we're gonna go to two ohms. And I'm gonna back this track up a little bit. 
hit pause on it. And uh, we're gonna start the dyno, two ohms. I'm gonna unpause, zoom in on that a little bit so everybody can see it. All right, uncertified, this one's up to clipping. Come on, come on. What was the last one, 1684? Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo, 1872. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go, uh, let's back that up real quick. We're gonna do the um, dynamic power, which is not peak. It is dynamic burst RMS. So there's no, it stops the test at clipping as well. So this is basically what you would hear if you're playing real music, what would, how much power it would put out. Because real music is not, a super long test tone pulling your system down although I guess it can be depending on what you're listening to but for the most part if you're listening to real music okay so come up show them right here KK what we're doing we're going to track one okay go back down there all right here we go it shouldn't be too far off of the um, uncertified since it's clipping as well but here you go 1871 I told you, you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with audio control. And it's just the proof is right here. I'm not just talking about it, making stuff up. It's right there in front of your face. So I don't know if I should drop this thing down to one ohm, but we'll try 1.33 ohms and see what happens. It might go into protect. And if it does, you can't blame audio control. Blame me. So let's do 1.33, drop it down just a little and see what happens. All right. So, okay, I'm gonna exit out of there because we're gonna do certified first. Certified mono, next, 1.33, and uh, we'll go check four, and start. All right, let's see what happens. It might go into protect though. Huh? Oh, <laughs> 1976 certified. Yeah. All right. Let's let's see if we can hit that 2,000 uncertified at clipping. That was at 1% distortion, so that's uh, pretty nice. Okay. Let's go to 1.33 uncertified, and uh, we'll start the dyno. Start this track over again, and here we go. Come on, this one's up to clipping. Oh, 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 damn! That's a lot of extra power. That's that's almost 700 more watts than it's rated for. Like back in the day, if you bought a 700 watt amp all by itself, you were talking about a couple thousand dollars. Back in the day. I know that 700 watt amp these days isn't super expensive, but uh, back in my day, you were the king of the block if you had 700 watts. So that's 700 more. Although I did drop the impedance down a little bit. So let's do, um, let's do dynamic burst RMS again. But at 1.33. Maybe I should drop it down to one just to see what happened. If I blow it up though, it's gonna be all your fault on YouTube, not mine because <laughs> you guys are bad influence. All right, here we go. Dynamic burst RMS. Woo! Look at that. Almost 2,300 watts musically. This is not peak. These are not peak numbers. So that's good. That's real good. All right, let me see this camera. Show me. Show. Hey, should we drop down to one ohm just to see what will happen? It's getting a little bit warm. Let's drop it down to one ohm just for the hell of it. If, hopefully it'll pop a fuse and not blow up or going to protect one of the two. So you guys saw the numbers at two ohms though. They're there and then some, but we're just playing around now. All right, mode, we're gonna go to certified. Uh, mono. All right, we're doing one ohm now. Now, like I said, I'm blaming you guys on YouTube if this thing breaks. So we're gonna start the dyno. We're gonna go to track. One, two, three, four, and here we go. One ohm. I, man, don't pop the fuse, please. Oh, 
it popped the fuse, guaranteed. Or it went into protect. Oh, uh, it protected. Okay, so still did 1750 before it went into protect. And uh, I gotta tell you, if I got an app and it goes into protect, bam. All I care about is that you come back out of protect. Because your job is to protect yourself, but it isn't to stay in perma protect, as I like to call it. If you got an app that goes into protect and it never comes out, what good is that? So, bam, look at this. Back in action again. I'm probably not going to run that one ohm test anymore, though. So, there you have it. Audio control. LC1.1500. This is a damn good amp. Let's see this camera real quick. All right. Sorry, my test bench is a little messy. I haven't had time to play around over here very much. But um, that's just proof right in front of your eyes, you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen some of these other amps that are in my uh, boneyard over there. We'll put them on the test bench if I haven't already tested them. We'll test them again. Uh, I've got a much more robust power supply than I had for a lot of the tests. Some of my early amp tests Tuesday, like back in the early days when I first got the 81, the uh, power supply wasn't as uh, robust as it is. So I got four excess power cap banks and I got um, this, this power supply is good to 10,000 watts. So I should be able to do a lot better than I used to do back in the day. I might just have to go through and retest all those other ones again. So, all right, you guys. I appreciate everybody for showing up. I know that it's like an early video, but I am at the shop and I have stuff going. As you can see, oh, these machines are hanging in the air. They're supposed to be running. So that means that I got to get in here and finish up what I was working on. Catch up with you guys later. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here.